breakfast, I've got a bagel and cream cheese and then some apples. This is definitely one of my go-tos, some kind of fruit and carbs. Perfect breakfast for me. Really quick, I'd like to kind of talk about what my current nutrition goals are. Right now, I'm not really tracking anything. I am kind of just mindfully eating. Um, I've tracked a lot in the past, so I kind of know what like 10 ounces of protein looks like or um well i guess not necessarily 10 ounces of protein but like 10 ounces of chicken is which is typically a quite a good amount of protein um i don't remember that specific number off the top of my head but in terms of the actual like measurements of the food itself i kind of have an idea of what i need to eat in order to um maintain my weight i think I am working on doing like kind of a mini cut um, but I didn't want to be too aggressive about it because there's not like a whole lot that I feel like I need to lose in terms of weight um, not that I actually need to lose any but I'd like to lose just a little bit typically for breakfast I eat something with um, high carbs some fruit and then lunch I'll eat something high protein like tuna or chicken um, and typically it's kind of low carb, but half the time it's a sandwich. So I still have like two slices of bread, which is a decent amount of carbs, um, which is fine. I'm not really too worried about having carbs at all because mm, bread is great. And uh, carbs literally are your energy source. The main energy source that your body um, pulls from would be from carbs. Um, and then for dinner, it's usually like kind of a bigger meal because I eat dinner after I work out most days uh, so it's anything from stir-fry to Mexican food it just kind of depends on what we feel like eating that day but usually it's something with chicken because chicken is a great protein and I just kind of wanted to go over my current fitness goals as well as my uh, fitness journey up until now. So maybe about 10 years ago, I got started with um, yoga. I found um, a local yoga studio and I just started with their beginner classes and I pretty much just fell in love with moving my body and I probably ended up going every single day for a couple years. And then they offered a like circuit style workout class so I attended that one day a week in addition to my yoga practice and through time I kind of noticed like wow I'm getting strength and muscle and all of that even though it was circuit style class that's not really like looking at um, progressive overload or anything like that but just noticing how much I did like actually gain some strength just by doing those things um so i decided after that that i was going to join a gym and focus on actual like workouts and things like that so i kind of did like a not quite a traditional workout split i just did free weights and stuff like that for a couple of years and then eventually i started learning more looking up videos on YouTube and following um, fitness influencers and stuff like that to get more ideas as to how to training in um, a more intentional way. So at that point, maybe four or five years ago, I started doing having like a traditional leg day, arm day, um, active recovery days and stuff like that I hardly ever like paid much attention to my actual um, like the weights I wasn't paying attention to creating that progressive overload I just kind of um, did the same sets and reps and workouts and I was on and then I was off like my fitness journey has kind of been oh I'm really on it for a couple months and then I'm really off of it for a couple months and then I really got out of it about two years ago. I'm not even sure why. <laughs> I just didn't. But after a while, I really, really started to feel that I needed to get back into working out. Last year, when everything was closed, because current events, <laughs> um, I got into running. 
and that was really fun because it was easy to do outdoors and I didn't have to worry about um, gyms being open or closed or having access to gym equipment or anything like that and I decided that I really really like having a set fitness routine. Um, it wasn't until the beginning of this year that I really started setting goals to get back into a routine. Now, my goals early on this year were very loose, just mostly just, hey, let's get a workout in today. Let's go running. Let's do something just to get some kind of movement, movement in. I really got into a solid routine starting about in April still not focusing too too much on sets and reps and anything like that just still now that i have those habits down my current fitness goals are to work on a solid foundation and creating muscle endurance because i basically just jumped into the gym when i first started working out and just didn't have many goals to go i just kind of went so my current goal is to create a solid foundation for um, muscle endurance before I actually start trying to even build muscle. Um, the importance of that is just so that when I do start adding on weight, my body can handle it. Um, so my current workout split will be two leg days and three upper body days and then some kind of cardio, whether it just be simply a walk a run, a hike, a bike ride, just kind of whatever I feel like during those days that um, I'm not doing any strength training and then trying to do at least 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes of yoga each day after my workout. I get some kind of stretching in and work on mobility as well. My two leg days will be split one will be a quad focus leg day and one will be a hamstring and glute focus workout um and then my upper body days will be two back and shoulders days and one arms and chest workout day um the weird reason why i'm breaking it down like that is because i have noticed that i struggle a lot with the posterior chain um, posture and muscle endurance. So the posterior chain basically is your entire back body muscles from your like neck and um, traps and um, low back all the way down to your glutes and your hamstrings and your calves. And I struggle to just literally just hold my body up, just sit upright, normal half the time I end up like slouching quite a bit so I'm trying to be more mindful about um, keeping my posture and so by building up that muscle endurance and strength with my training I will um, hopefully be able to create that muscle endurance that I'm looking for for just everyday movements as well as creating a foundation to build muscle. So as far as sets and reps and weight goes, I'm keeping all of my weights low but just slightly challenging enough uh, so that I can focus more so on form and building that muscle memory so when I do add weight later I will be able to maintain that form with heavier weights. After some time I'm also going to keep my weight the same and then increase um, sets and reps to further on build that muscle endurance before adding any weights. As of now my program is to do what I'm currently doing for six weeks and then for another six weeks, I'm going to increase sets and reps um, before actually increasing weight. And when I increase my weight, it will be basically based on how I feel. So if I feel like the weight I've been doing for these first 12 weeks is way too light, um, I'll just kind of play with it before settling on a weight and continuing with that for another six weeks and then kind of go from there. Um, 
it just depends on how my body actually performs and how well I feel by the time I actually get to that point. All right, now that I've blabbed for 17 years, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I just want you to know that I appreciate it if you've stuck around this long and you've made it all the way to the end of this video. It really means a lot, especially since this is only my second YouTube video. And I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you're so liking my content so far and then comment down below if there's anything specific that maybe you want me to see or if there's any suggestions on how maybe I can make my videos even better. And yeah, so I'm going to end it here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.